The spot prices of both silver and gold bullion has been going down. But when you factor in premiums, which is the better buy? I thought I looked at premiums a lot, but I was surprised by what I found. Stick around. So in this video, we're going to look at what is the best buy right now. So when you're planning for your future, you want to know what is the best situation in the present. So looking at the present, we see low spot prices for both silver and gold, but you also want to consider premiums. And I've looked at premiums across the board of the products that I like to buy the most, both silver and gold. And what I found surprised me because I think the premiums have turned a corner, but are they turning the corner in a good way or a bad way? So if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to put some numbers on the board with respect to some different products and product sizes for both silver and gold with the percentage premium of a spot and give you the information that you need to make your best choices. And if you really stay to the end, I'm going to share the story of the free silver. I want to thank Sean's Precious Bullion for gifting me a whole big box of multiple cigar boxes. So if you stick with me, I'm going to come up with some way of sharing these in the future with my audience. If you like gold, silver, and cool ways of storing your precious metals, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. So if you look at this chart for gold, you can see that we've hit over 2,000 twice. And right now it is trading for under $1,650. If you look at a chart for silver since the beginning of 2020, it's hit $29 a couple of times. But right now it is trading for under $19. So what is the current situation with respect to premiums? Well, the constant is the wholesale price from the U.S. Mint to the authorized purchasers. And they're the wholesalers or the dealers to the dealers. The first buyer of Mint products pay $2.35 per coin for Silver Eagles, but the gold bullion premiums have a floor because they start at the first buyer at 3% for one ounce, 5% for a half an ounce, 7% for a quarter, and 9% for a one-tenth ounce gold eagle. So these are percentages above spot price, so it can't get any better than that. There's markups when the wholesaler sells it to the dealers themselves, and then from the dealers to the stacker. So to keep things simple, on Friday I went shopping at Monument Metals, a dealer I use a lot for buying bullion. They have just enough wide variety of the fairly tight list of items I like to buy. So I looked at one tenth, one quarter, one half, and one ounce gold eagles. And then I looked at a couple of different sized silver products. The first thing I looked at was a one tenth ounce gold eagle because I am working on filling a tube of 25 of gold eagles I buy. Typically I buy a coin a month. So when I looked at this, I saw a price of $211. Considering we're in a dip of under $1,650 an ounce, I thought that was a little high. And so I'm going to crunch the numbers on the chalkboard and show you all the premiums so that you can make your best choice. And then I looked at a quarter ounce and it was $508. I looked at a half ounce, it was $954. So at least it was under $1,000. And then I looked at the one ounce coin and it was $1,818. And I was hoping a one ounce gold eagle could be picked up for under $1,800. So then I looked at a kilo bar and not only did they have a kilo at a good price, it was a Perth mint kilo. So I was pretty excited because I was considering buying some metals soon. And so the fact that they had a Perth kilo for $688 which was $21.40 per physical ounce delivered. So I thought that would be a great option. And then to see where the 10 ounce bars were, I saw a germanium mint 10 ounce bar for under $223. And it was literally only like 40 cents or 50 cents, not per ounce, per bar 
over like the lowest price bar they had there. So I was pretty excited to see that. So what I wanna do is take all of those numbers I just shared with you, compare them to spot and show you the premiums per item and the numbers may surprise you. I'm gonna reveal the premiums from my research on precious metals right after this word from our sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Modern Collectible Silver Bars. Inside the cigar box, I've got some cool John Wick and Royal Mint bars. John Wick is an Atmex exclusive that comes in one ounce, five ounce, and 10 ounce sizes, while this Three Graces bar comes in limited mintages for both one ounce and 10 ounce. It will not cost you more to go to Atmex through my affiliate link below compared to going to Atmex directly, so much appreciated. Collectible silver bars, smoke them if you've got them. Okay, so based on my research for September 25th, 2022, the precious metal premiums for different size gold eagles and a couple of different sizes of silver bars. So these are the premiums that come out of the US Mint to the first level of wholesalers, the authorized purchasers. So this is the floor. It can't get any better than that because it has to, there has to be some markup from wholesaler to retailer and then from retailer to the ultimate stacker. So one tenth has the highest premiums, the one ounce has the lowest out of the gate. And we don't know what the premiums are at the wholesale level for silver bars. So based on my research of shopping around, this is what I found for retail premiums right now. 10% for one ounce gold eagles which really surprised me. So the spot price is down, but the premiums are up. So I don't wanna just point the finger at the retail seller. I think the US Mint is not making as many coins as they could because the difference between this and a normal five or 6% at the retail level is how many coins are being produced. Instead of five or 6%, we're looking at 10% depending where you go. That is the fault of not having enough coins in the market. So if someone tells you that the mint isn't making any coins, that's not true, but they're just not making enough. And then for half ounce, it is 17%, which is very high. That ought to be about double that to be about 10%. And quarter ounce eagles are coming in at 23% premium and they ought to be in the 14, 15% range. And the one tenth ounce gold eagles are at 29% premium. And I think they ought to be under 20, maybe 18 or 20%. So 29% is very high. So what about the premiums on silver? And don't forget to stay to the end because I have the ultimate premium silver free. So a 10 ounce bar can be had for about 19.5% premium, while a silver kilo bar can be had for 13%. So when people say silver premiums are too high, that may be true, but look at the premiums for gold eagles right now. They are higher than normal. So as bar premiums have been going down, gold eagle premiums are going in the wrong direction. So a 10 ounce bar would put you right in between a quarter ounce and a half ounce bar, and a kilo would put you right in between a half ounce and a one ounce gold coin. So what about the story about the free silver? So I recently took a trip and surprised my dad. When I showed up, my dad's like, hey, what are you doing here? I'm like, oh, I thought we'd watch a baseball game together. So on my way there, I picked up a USA Today newspaper and some snacks. But when I purchased the items, it came to like $11.10 or something. And I had a 10 and one, but I didn't have any change in my pocket. So I gave her a 10 and a five. And the cashier said, would you take four quarters instead of a dollar. I've run out of dollar bills. And I said, sure. And then she handed me the change. And as the change dropped in my hand, I thought I heard a ping. 
And then I put it in my pocket and I heard another ping. And the woman was the first one to say, hey, I think I gave you a good one. And I'm like, really? Because I thought maybe I had a Canadian quarter in my pocket. So upon inspection, sure enough, there was a silver quarter. And so then I asked her, well, how about another transaction? And then she said, well, I've actually run out of quarters also. So she ran out of dollar bills and she ran out of quarters. So the cashier knew the sound of silver, but possessions nine tenths of the law. So finders, keepers. So what's the best buy right now? Is it gold or silver? Well, it's up to you, but for me, I'll take watching a baseball game with my dad and some free silver anytime.